Bro, that Paul George under was nice. He went four for 13 and two for six from the three. <laughs> Bro, you see the ticket. Let's get this though. Jalen Brunson points and assists to set at 41 and a half. It's plus 102. Not only that, look at the last three games. Let me get you a closer look. This is the last five games. We've seen what's happening. You see how these games been played out. Bro, there's no way that Jalen Brunson does not go over 41 and a half. This is why I'm playing it. I'm playing Jalen Brunson over 41 and a half. Look at this. 46, 57, 52 in the last three games. Uh-oh. Now let's go check out his... Uh, He's taking 30 shots a game. All he needs to do is take 30 shots a game. I don't even care how many assists he gets. I think he might cover this with points. This is game six. Let's go. After that, I got Tyrese Maxey. His points line is set at 27 and a half and it's plus 100. I, I'm not saying he's going to hit 40. And I understand what happened. Hold on, let's go to the last five. I'm not saying he's going to hit 40. And I understand what happened in these two games prior to him going off. But he, the way he played last night, he is, he's going to take 30 shots. He attempted 25. <clears throat> he averages 24 shots per game. Last night, he took 30. He's going to take more than 25 per game, and he is going over 27 and a half points. In game six, this is all they got with, with Embiid hobble. Speaking of a hobble Embiid, his rebounds line is set at 10 and a half now. I think I took it at 11. It was nine and a half when I called it. He was my thumbnail the other day. It was nine and a half then. I'm taking him over 11 rebounds. Bum knee and all. Big boy three-man play, man. Let's get this dough. Bro, in the last couple of days, I played 23 parlays and hit nine of them bitches. Look at my picket stats. I'm up 15.6 units and the ROI is insane. That's not sustainable. However, I'm doing the same thing that I'm doing for every play that I find that I put in every parlay. I'm looking for heavy favorites. On really sharp books and then finding those lines and putting the bitches in parlays. I also have a few other plays for you. I'm gonna go through them because that's just a three man. That's a three man ticket that I have. Obviously, I'm playing multiple tickets. Here's two others that I put that make this one a five man. And it's Miles McBride. It's Miles McBride over one and a half three pointers made. It's heavy, it's slightly favored to go over at minus 119 on most books, but it looks like Caesar has a heavy ass. Minus 220, Caesars, I'm sorry, Caesars and FanDuel at minus 180, minus 175. I'm going over Miles McBride, over one and a half three-pointers made. And look at this, last five games, he's, he's cleared it, 80% <clears throat> of those. And not only that, he's attempting five per game and he's hitting 2.4 per game. He took seven in the last game, only hit two. He shot less than 30% and still covered it. Mm. Miles McBride to go over one and a half three points made. And then look, Tyrese Halliburton's assist line is at 10 and a half. It's minus 130. It's heavily favored to go under. Look at the last two games. Hold on. I got to make sure this is right. Last two games, he had six and four. And look, his potential assist went way down from his normal. He averages 17, but in a better game, he had 26 potential assists. And converted. they converted 16 into assists. But look, half, it dropped, it dropped half. And the and assist showed that in the last two games, it dropped more than half in the last game. I'm taking Tyler, I'm taking Tyrese Halliburton to go under 10 and a half assists. That's a five-man play. It ain't much to tell you, except you already know. Let's get this dough.